What's up, everybody? Uh, it's LK. I'm signing in from Kyoto right now. Uh, being punished for missing the last Shinkansen. <laughs> Back to where I was staying at. I was staying at Gina's place before. Uh, it's not bad, though. I just... Uh, a couple hours ago, I went to McDonald's actually to charge my laptop, and then I was sitting outside this intersection. Uh, it's like five minutes away from Acho, but it was like some intersection that had free internet, like, and the internet was pretty good, so I was just sitting there talking to people online a little bit, letting people know where I was. Uh, today was a bit of a shit storm. I don't know. It's, it was kind of shitty, but it was like kind of good. I, like. At the end, even when I was walking back uh, from the Kyoto station, after I found out I missed the last train, I was like, you know what, today is a pretty good day anyway. Kind of deal. It was pretty good. It was a good feeling. Uh, this city is like really pretty. I might like walk around a little bit. I didn't make up my mind whether I was just going to sit here by the river or try to like go over to where the temples are it's a little bit far i i stumbled upon like the temple district or whatever of kyoto where well basically <laughs> the whole reason i even missed the last training was my original plan was to be at ho by like six and i did actually get here early like i got to kyoto at like 5 45 but when I got to a train station, I asked the guy how to get to the uh, Gion Shijo station. And he was like, uh, hmm. And I was like, can you use JR to get there? Because he was just like thinking too long, like way too long. I got a little impatient. I'm so he was like, well, you can't take JR. And I was like, oh! he's like, you can take the the Kahan rail. The Kahan. The Kehan Rail, not Kehan, Weeaboos, Kehan, uh, pretty much goes through all of Kyoto, like, it's like a straight line, like, once, once I walked back from Acho to the station, I was like, wow, it's literally a straight shot to the station from using this line, so it would have been, like, a quick 10 or 15 minutes on, like, the station, I would have just been there, like, been right by the arcade, been lost for, like, maybe five minutes, because it's kind of in a nook. Well, not really a nook, but uh, I'll explain a little bit later. So, he told me to get on the number 9 JR towards Nara, get off at the first stop, and then go from there. And I was like, uh, alright. So I get off at the stop. The, the and most important thing is I didn't actually leave the Kyoto station. This is one thing that added quite a bit of time to my HO trip. So... I get off at, I think it's Tokufuji, I think the place is called Tokufuji, it's like a hole in the wall station, like it's really, really small train station. Uh, I get off, I walk out, and I'm like, uh, what, where am I? And there's like, uh, not a family mart, what's the other one? It's, I think it's daily, oh no, it's K, there was like K, right? right outside I went to the K and I was like all right where am I and people were like oh you're at Tokufuji I'm like that's great so I see this really big like this really big tower like lit up tower and I was like oh that's kind of pretty so Tokufuji I'm still not actually sure if Tokufuji I believe Tokufuji is like outskirts of Kyoto from based on like my knowledge of the city now but I was like all right so I'll follow this train line because I saw the Kehan there I'll follow this train line and I'll just walk to Gion station it will take me a long time but whatever I walked like three hours to get to UP before so it's no big deal oh my god just I don't know if you saw that I don't know how I haven't moved actually moved the camera maybe I should get up and like go somewhere I don't know uh after I tell a story I'll, I'll go somewhere this place is kind of chill. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so after a little while, once once I have to turn to follow the railway, I start doubting myself. I'm like, uh, I should just go back to station. So I go back to the station. 
The important thing is, another important thing, uh, a detail I left out is, so, for, so the JR Rail Pass, you can get on like any JR Railway, and they own the Shinkansen, so you can go wherever, it's like pretty much in almost any city to Japan on the Shinkansen. So, it's like, it costs a good amount, but if you have it, you could just, if you like make good travel plans, you can, it's like really, really worth it. But, outside of Tokyo, so basically, if, if you want, um, how, how can I say this in like two minutes? So Japan is way more cash based than America. Like America, America, you get really everyone like the banks encourage you to use like a credit card or a debit card, and they're like, oh, no paper and all this stuff. So Japan's like the complete opposite. Like if you don't have cash, you are in serious trouble. Like if you don't have cash, you can't do a lot of things here. Like there's not, I mean, the big department stores and stuff will they'll all take your card, but like in Tokyo. Uh, I don't know if they have it out here, but they have like this Suica and um, Pasmo card, and these cards are like, it's like, think about if, if say you're from New York, so you have like the Metro card, right? So imagine you've got like a hard plastic Metro card that you can use at like gas stations or convenience stores or, and also for like Metro. So that's like the Suica. So a lot of places you would go spend money they will take the Suica and not your not your credit card or something, whatever you're using. And the only place you could actually withdraw money is 7-Eleven. So with an American card, I mean, if you go anywhere else, you need a Japanese card. So if you go to a Sev, you have to like the bills. They only have 10,000 yen bills, so you're withdrawing like 130 bucks at a time which is not bad like you need money you need money when you're here like cash cash money not like invisible fake money so the important thing was I thought I would get to Kyoto and find a sev that that was my goal that was my other goal my my basic plan was I was gonna get to Kyoto get to Acho and then ask where sev was but I figured I would just find a sev on my way there so I'm at, <laughs> so I go back to the Tokofuji station, and I'm like, okay. At this point, I didn't know that the JR out here was very different from the JR in Tokyo. Because when I, when I, my time in Nagoya, I haven't stepped on a train at all. The only train I've been on is Shinkansen, because I could get to where I was staying to sleep. I could get to Comtec, the one arcade, and I could get to Lavamo, the far arcade all on foot I had no reason to go to urban square or I wanted to go to game sky but I mean it's sad I couldn't go but I had pretty much no reason to get on it in a cab ever so it was all good Tokyo you could get to every single like wherever you want to go you can get via JR so if you're staying in Tokyo and you have a rail pass great so out here I'm like all right I'll do a little experiment, I'll get on the next train going away, like one more stop up, and see what happens before I go back to Kyoto, or Kyoto Station, I should say. So I get on a train, and I don't hear until I get on it that it's a express train, so it's going to skip like three stops, and I was like, oh my god, the more we go out, I'm on this train, like, 20 minutes later we finally stop I'm like all right I'm going back to Kyoto station like if I stay on this train I'm gonna be in trouble so I switch right away so this train going out now I realize like the train I got on when especially once I got off the station and looked at the JR lines going around Kyoto they all they all leave Kyoto like Kyoto is pretty much all Keihan so I was like oh <laughs> whoops so I go back I go back on uh, the local back and the second stop on my way back to Kyoto is just I don't know all these high schoolers just showed up on this fucking train and I was like oh <laughs> if you like I don't know if you like 
safe for coup stuff you would have had a blast on this train it was kind of funny there was a kid also before uh, they got on there was like a little kid who was singing the H&K theme his mom was trying to shut him up and I was like laughing she was like oh be quiet be quiet I was like yeah this kid's funny and he freaked out at a praying mantis which was pretty funny too I was like I won't go over there that was alright so I get back to Kyoto station I'm like okay so obviously JR won't get me there I remember looking at a map on Google Maps of HO and then I it's it wasn't too far from the station. I was like, you know, you know what? I think I should just walk this. Like I can do it. So I walk out and I'm gonna take a video of this tomorrow. Oh, I hope my battery is good. Alright, my battery seems good. Alright, I'm gonna take a video tomorrow of the the Kyoto Tower. I took a picture of it too. Once I left the station, I was like, okay, this is like, this is the landmark. This is how I'm getting back to Kyoto Station, this tower. It's a huge, it's not huge, it's it's huge compared to the city because it's like a city, but it's not like a big, big city. It's not like skyscrapers and stuff. It's, it's most of the cities in Tokyo, not, not Tokyo, in Japan, well, at least Tokyo and Nagoya, like they built up. But this, this city is kind of sprawled out. I guess it's because it's really old. But, um... It's... You can see the Kyoto Tower from pretty far away. So, the map I used... So there's a map... There's a bus station from the train station. And the map shows... Goes really far north-south. And then barely shows anything east-west. If it showed a pinch more east-west, I could have literally saved an hour and a half on this trip to Kyoto but whatever so my I look at this map and I'm like all right if I take this road down across this river and then walk up this Higashioji Dori I'll eventually end up at Gion station which is near Shijo Dori, which should, should eventually get me to Gion Shijo Station. That's, that's the logic I used. So, event, essentially, from Kyoto Station to Acho is a straight line, but I ended up doing this huge box all around, all around. Uh, I went way out of my way. It took me like two hours, but I took a really scenic route. Um, I might go over there. Like I might leave Nagoya early tomorrow just to go back to like where the temples are. Cause I'm not I'm not like a touristy person. I don't like going to like I don't like opening travel brochures and stuff to find out where to go. I like just hearing from people or like stumbling on things and then seeing it. There's some things you should just obviously see, like go to see some big things, but. I mean, I mean, oh, I'm just like not really interested in like sightseeing or like touristy shit like that. All right, how about I hop off a little bit? You guys are probably getting tired of seeing the same angle. I gotta pack this shit up though. Ugh, I got a lot of shit in my bag. I can't like there's. I only saw litter in Tokyo, uh, not Tokyo, in Japan for the first time today. So, and if some host left his, like, uh, apple juice on, on a curb or something, I'll be like, dude, what are you doing? It's clean. Man, pretty clean. So, I don't, well, I wouldn't litter in America anyway, but I just want to litter less in Japan. There's probably, like, a fine and shit. Uh, let me sec. See this? I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you definitely can't see it. Hold on. I got this. Special Japan only Fanta. So good. I'm about to get another one. I don't drink soda either. Like I was thinking today that I would I would like to live in Kyoto, right? But oh this part's gonna be awkward. Alright, we're gonna have some EC shaky cam for a sec. Oh shit. Okay, it wasn't as shaky as I thought. But Alright, there you go. Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking I could live in Japan, like, no, 
I, when I was in Tokyo, I was like, well, Tokyo's kind of cool, but whatever. And when I was in Nagoya, I was like, well, I like going to this arcade, but if I lived here, they probably wouldn't come out that often. And from what Juno is telling me, the place is kind of boring. A little boring. I don't know. He goes out, blah, 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 blah whatever. And stuff you do in any other town, right? But, and plus, it's not like an interesting looking town. I mean, Tokyo has like Akiba and Ikebukuro. And I mean, those places are cool. But, I mean, it's nothing, it's just stuff like I could see once. It's not stuff I want to see multiple times. Oh, is that a mini stop? Oh, no. Mini stop is like my inn. There's like two inns here. It's like McDonald's. There are people sleeping at McDonald's right now. And like studying for like tests and shit right now at McDonald's. And mini stop, I know for a fact, takes credit cards. So that's where I went to get my dinner. Yeah, but anyway, while I was uh, walking around my temple, my accidental temple tour of Kyoto, I was like, whoa, this city is actually pretty nice in some areas. And the more I walked around, the more I, I like, liked it. And I'll take a video of it tomorrow. I'll make it like its own video, but it's, it's going to be tomorrow for you, for me. For you guys, it's going to be like up at the same time. Uh, HO is on a sweet street, like... It's on a shopping, walking street. It's called Teramachi Doji. And you can't, you can't actually tell it's HO. Like you have to know that it's HO. You have to like walk up real close and there's a little sign and it's like Neo Amusement Space Acho. That's what it's called. But the big sign just says like fun space or something. I forget what it said, but it said something really stupid. But I was like, this is probably Acho. And so I walked in and then I got, I went upstairs and it was there. But if you didn't know that was Acho, you would walk right past it. You'd just be, like, after you're in Japan for one day, you just know, like, I... Well, if you play fighting games, if that's, like, your intent, you'd be like, I don't even want to deal with these pachinko shit. You get, like, annoying when you see pachinko places, because you just want to fucking mash. And there's all these pachinko places, and they're, like, they're, like tricking you. They're like, oh, huh, we're an arcade, and you go in, and you just hear cling cling. It's like a casino. It's like, really annoying. But it's like the pachinko, this is like the only arcade I've been to where the pachinko is on the first floor. Well, it's the only arcade I've been to I think that has pachinko. I usually pachinko like has its own places from what I've seen but I haven't been everywhere so. Most of the time on the first floor they have like your crane games which are fucking dirty. I, don't, I gave no money to that shit. And they have your, your, your photo beauty game which I need to do before I go because I... <laughs> Because it looks hype, but I never, I've been always in a rush to play so that I never like stepped in it. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. If they have one at I'll ask Galileo to do it with me. I'll be like, hey, the Americans will think this is really funny if we did this. He's a, he's a really cool guy. We were uh, exchanging some strategy. I'll bring it back to America. I taught him a couple of tricks. Well, I've been coming up with some stuff, mostly like. Honestly, if I feel, I feel like if I have a weakest parameter, I, I don't think of this like, I don't know, I guess the best way to put it is stat. But I think my, one of my weakest stats is actually coming up with new stuff, just new stuff. Because when I sit in training mode, I don't always, well, Light G has like, it has like a lot of potential, but there's, there's been times where I'm like, man, I should just think of new shit and I just can't think of new shit. But then when I watch Galileo play, I'm like, he does all, like, every time I see him in a video, he just does all this new shit. I'm like, wow, you're so fucking creative, this character. And, like, once I see something, then I get, like, ideas for derivatives of that thing. But I don't normally, I mean, I've come up with my own stuff, but most of the stuff that I've come up with, I could say, or like thought of on my own because honestly honestly when I learn a character I just X copy I mean I think I I think that's like the best way to just get a decent like mid-level like B level understanding of your character and from there yeah I talk about games now sorry <laughs> and then from there if you want to know what happened with my uh, HO journey basically like after the after the temple walk I just got there but I was just pissed I was pissed off but like happy at the same time and then I, I just missed the Shinkansen it's the last Shinkansen out of Nagoya leaves at like almost one like 
1250 but then the last one that leaves off Kyoto leaves at like 1020 which caught me by surprise <clears throat> but anyway uh what 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 was I talking about I said Galileo was really creative I said I most oh yeah so I don't actually remember what I said last but I'll just go back to uh, like he, t he told me some tricks I taught him so basically in in Tokyo right now a lot of people are using like this option select counter assault shit where I, the first I heard about it was from Whistler's Twitter but a lot of the good players like normally it's it's kind of like a trickle down like the good players will do it and then they'll figure out how to beat it amongst themselves and the I don't know like the middle players they don't they just play like I, they're kind of like it's kind of like America like they don't like watch videos that much or whatever they just if they see something in the arcade they'll do it so they don't they don't either don't know it or they don't know how to beat it so like Tetsu Tetsu Jin like the Jins the two good Jins Tetsu and Deno they were doing like option select throw tech and the counter assault like that does 6b if you try to do a late throw and like all this all this stupid shit <laughs> i'm like whoa this this is fucking annoying i i figured out how to beat it like pretty quick but if you if you deal with it the wrong way then you just get blown up you just get hit really bad and some of the some of the rewards like tau her 6b comes out so her 6b it's not like terrible like oh no i took like three thousand oh this is kind of this is an okay spot. I like the spot. I don't know if you guys can even see this. <laughs> it's so dark. Because of the energy conservation thing, I guess. There's a light right here. here we... I'll go up by the street. Yeah, like tiles does like like the damage, like you're not I'm not gonna cry over it. Like it's not it's not super. Oh shit. Battery's gonna die. Uh what should I do? Should I let this run out? I felt like I charged this before, but I guess I didn't. Ugh. Maybe I'll make this a two-parter. Uh, I'll wrap up this topic then. Uh, yeah, the tiles doesn't really do that much damage, but Jin, Jin, like, it's like six B starter. That's ah. And then if you did, if if you like did a 2a like a delay 2a or something and he got the 6b to come out you're taking you're like definitely in the corner and you're taking like 4.5 5k maybe so after thinking about it for a while i started i figured you could probably just do this with way more stuff than normals because lychee if i just did it they do 1a b c 6a b so Lychee would get 6B, which has, what does it give you? It doesn't, it doesn't do anything special. It doesn't hop. She's not in the air. It's not really fast. The damage you get is good, but the move is slow as shit. I was like, well, what can I do? So I figured I can do 1ABC, 236AB. So I go, again, option select Hatsu is back. Well, not is back. It's used again so basically since since you have 50 meter i say basically too much i need to use find a new word that's what happens when i draw on and on uh so when you have 50 meters since it's like uh option select throw tech into so barrier and throw tech into um hatsu more or less counter assault or hatsu really you don't actually have to do the 1 A B C first. That's just the situation can be there. Don't you don't have to always do 1 A B C and then whatever counter salt. So since you have 50 meter when you do so counter salt's 50 meter. So since you have 50 meter, if you I think light cheese ground hot is like 10 frames or something like eight anywhere between eight and 10 frames. And most people when they bait counter salt go a little bit out of their way to bait it either with air move or like some aerial or walking back or something. So if you do if you do two three six A B so 
uh, counter assault or hatsu. If they, if you're blocking, then you just counter assault. But if they bait somehow, some strange way, then you get hatsu. So hatsu p1, I'm pretty sure is a hundred, and you have 50 meter to RC it. That's like as good as it gets. Like that's really good. You get good damage off that. Yeah, really good reward for doing that. Especially like, I mean, I myself, I like baiting counter assault by jumping and doing some kind of like if I don't have the stick, I'll like jump and do like jump CB or something. So an option suck like that is really, really good. If you, for some reason, I mean, Tom Berry is thinking, uh, you guys don't know Tom Berry yet, but he's the best gen in America. In, in two or three months, two or three months from now, he'll be the best gen in America. But he was thinking of trying to do like options like supers and counter assault. So I don't know. We're gonna mess around, and see what what we can get out of it. Uh, I told I told him that I told Galileo that he's like, oh, I didn't know. And then when he was playing Nezu, I guess they were doing they were just grinding out matches. So today, Hio had their video recording set up on BB and I think they're gonna have it again tomorrow because I'm coming back tomorrow and the French player was there the French player for you Ragnar guys French player there was doing he wasn't playing like the best players he like I didn't see him play Nezu on that setup but he did play Galileo and lost Galileo a couple times I played him I, I only played for a little bit because I was like tired and like no steps I didn't have a lot of money on me it, it, it kind of sucked so but you you will see the French rag that he was doing pretty good today. Um, but on the setup next to the recording setup, Nezu and Galileo are just grinding out games. Like they must have played like 15 games. I just eventually I just watched. I was like, oh, just let me watch you two guys. And Galileo was telling me like some bank strats, which are secret for now. <laughs> for now, um, uh, Nezu was. Once in a while, like, if someone won, like, when Nezu won, he'd be like, okay, let me show you this combo. He, he showed me and Galileo this, this, like, 9,000 damage command grab combo. Like, it's like free Kazan, and then you do command grab, RC, 6C, dash, like, up backwards, fire punch, and then just some crazy shit. It did, like... <laughs> It did way too much damage. I was like, wow, you are never going to hit this in a match ever. For real. But it was really cool. But these two are just grinding out games on just like random cab. I'm like, you got, you guys should be playing on the recording cab right now. Like, uh, skill, 